Well, new at six, how long can he do this? Jumping his way into the record books. All he has to do is jump 88,000 times. It's nothing. <laughs> WBC's Mike Sullivan is in South Boston with this great story. If being an adult means growing out of childish habits, consider James Romoloidis a professional kid. I'm just bouncing. No, he's actually being modest. He can pogo stick at a record-breaking pace. Me and my brother were bored one day. He had a little retractable pogo stick. From there, the infatuation grew. As kids turned to skateboarding, he continued to hop. The intensity of it started back in college, uh, 2007. Uh, one of my friends, his mother actually suffers from scleroderma. They thought, why not try to break a Guinness World Record, use the stunt to raise money for research. The consecutive bounce record used to have five minute breaks every hour. He broke it, bouncing for 20 hours, 186,000 times. Probably about an hour in, I start getting a little delusional. You may still think he's delusional now. We did a bounce off, uh, as they call it, back in uh, 2015 in Philadelphia. The three greatest endurance pogo stickers in the world, vying for a new record with no breaks. I was bouncing a lot faster than a lot of people. I bounced probably closer to three, three bounces a second. He finished before the others, giving his opponent a line to cross, and he did. The car wins 88,000. On September 9th, he aims to take his record back. The hope is I can, I can push this number far enough away that no one will want to touch it ever again. You'll find him hopping at Medal of Honor Park in South Boston, the attempt raising money for homeless veterans. I'm the daughter of a veteran. Uh, my father fought in Vietnam. More alliance is James's wife. Her father is a Marine. He signed up with his friends right out of high school. Um, they all grew up here, and unfortunately, uh, three of their friends didn't make it home, and they are part of the names that are on this stone. Their story will be on his mind, as well as the music in his ears. We'll do some Disney classic songs. He likes to belt karaoke as he hops. I sing along to every song horribly. It's whatever keeps his mind away from the pain. I start losing feeling around in my forearm and hands as well. Who would have thought a child's toy could be such a challenge? So two ways to get on, either put one foot on and step up, or just jump right on. There you go. <laughs> Natural. It really is harder than it looks. I'm coming for your record. <laughs> In Boston, I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News. That is wild. 20 hours for an excellent cause. Well, that's what I like about it is that he brings you in and you focus on him because of what he's doing is right. so strange. Right. But then and you then... learn that he's doing it for homeless veterans and it's, it's a great way to raise awareness. Right. We wish him the very best. CBS